Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport IATA, FLL, ICAO, KFLL, FAA LID, FLL is in Broward County, Florida, United States. The airport is off Interstate 595, U.S. Route 1, Florida State Road A1A, and Florida State Road 5 bounded by the cities Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood and Dania Beach, 3 miles 5 kilometers southwest of downtown Fort Lauderdale and 21 miles 34 kilometers north of Miami. The airport is near cruise line terminals at Port Everglades and is popular among tourists bound for the Caribbean. Since the late 1990s, FLL has become an intercontinental gateway, although Miami International Airport still handles most long-haul flights. It is the largest base for Spirit Airlines, catering mainly to the airline's international to domestic network, and it is a focus city for JetBlue and Norwegian Air Shuttle. It is also a focus city for Allegiant Air and Southwest Airlines. In 2016, the top five air carriers by market share were JetBlue Airways at 25%, Southwest Airlines at 19.7%, Spirit Airlines at 19.4%, Delta Air Lines at 10.2%, and American Airlines at 6.9%. FLL is ranked as the 19th busiest airport in terms of passenger traffic in the United States, as well as the nation's 14th busiest international air gateway and one of the world's 50 busiest airports. FLL is classified by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration as a major hub facility serving commercial air traffic. In 2017 the airport processed 32,511,053 passengers 11.3% more than 2016 including 7,183,275 international passengers 18.6% more than 2016. History Merle Fogg Airport opened on an abandoned nine-hole golf course on May 1, 1929. At the start of World War II, it was commissioned by the United States Navy and renamed Naval Air Station Fort Lauderdale. The base was initially used for refitting civil airliners for military service before they were ferried across the Atlantic to Europe and North Africa. NAS Fort Lauderdale later became a main training base for naval aviators and enlisted naval air crewmen flying the Grumman TBF and TBM Avenger for the U.S. Navy and U.S. Marine Corps aboard aircraft carriers and from expeditionary airfields ashore. NAS Fort Lauderdale was the home base for Flight 19, the five TBM Avengers that disappeared in December 1945, leading in part to the notoriety of the Bermuda Triangle. NAS Fort Lauderdale closed on October 1, 1946 and was transferred to county control, becoming Broward County International Airport. Commercial flights to Nassau began on June 2, 1953, and domestic flights began in 1958–1959. Northeast Airlines and National Airlines DC-6Bs flew nonstop to Idlewild, and Northeast flew nonstop to Washington National. In 1959 the airport opened its first permanent terminal building and assumed its current name. In 1966, the airport averaged 48 airline operations a day, in 1972, it averaged 173 a day. The February 1966 official airline guide shows three non-stop departures to New York Kennedy and no other non-stop flights beyond Tampa and Orlando. Five years later. FLL had added non-stop flights to Atlanta, Baltimore, Boston, Buffalo, Chicago, Cleveland, Detroit, Minneapolis, New York LaGuardia, Newark, Philadelphia, and Pittsburgh. Northeast's non-stop to Los Angeles had already been dropped. By 1974, the airport was served by Braniff International Airways, Delta Air Lines, Eastern Airlines, National Airlines, Northwest Orient Airlines, Shawnee Airlines and United Airlines. Delta and Eastern were the dominant carriers, with 12 and 14 routes from FLL respectively. By 1979, following deregulation, Air Florida, Bahamasair, Florida Airlines, Mackey International Airlines, Republic Airlines, Trans World Airlines and Western Airlines also served the airport. Low-cost airline traffic grew in the 1990s, with Southwest opening its base in 1996, Spirit in 1999, and JetBlue in 2000. Spirit Airlines made FLL a hub in 2002. In 2003, JetBlue made FLL a focus city. 
U.S. Airways also planned a hub at Fort Lauderdale in the mid-2000s as part of its reorganization strategy before its merger with America West. Low-cost competition forced several major legacy airlines to cut back service to FLL, with United pulling out of the airport entirely in 2008 and American Airlines moving its New York and Los Angeles services to West Palm Beach in 2013. During the 2005 hurricane season FLL was affected by Hurricane Katrina and Hurricane Wilma. Katrina struck land in late August as a Category 1 and made landfall on Keating Beach just two miles from the airport near the border of Broward and Miami-Dade counties with 80 miles per hour 130 kilometers per hour winds but caused only minor damage, however, the airport was closed for about a 48-hour period. However, when Hurricane Wilma made landfall in October roof damage was reported along with broken windows, damaged jetways, and destroyed canopies. The airport was closed for a period of five days. Hurricane Wilma was a Category 2 when its center passed to the west of FLL. In February 2007, the airport started fees to all users, including private aircraft. FLL is one of the few airports to administer fees to private pilots. A minimum charge of $10 is assessed on landing private aircraft. On October 11, 2016, Emirates announced that they would operate a flight from Dubai to feet. Lauderdale daily using a Boeing 777-200LR. The airline decided on Fort Lauderdale instead of Miami, which has considerably longer runways and better facilities for long-haul flights, because of its codeshare agreement with JetBlue. The airline started flying in December 2016. On October 27, 2016, British Airways announced a flight from London Gatwick to feet. Lauderdale three times a week, which began on July 6, 2017. A shooting took place at the airport on January 6, 2017 in Terminal 2, claiming five lives and injuring six. In 2018, NORAD announced that it would be stationing fighter jets at the airport during President Donald Trump's trips to Mar-a-Lago. Topic. Facilities Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport covers 1,380 acres 558 hectares and has two runways 10L, 28R, 9,000 by 150 feet 2,743 by 46 meters asphalt 10R, 28L, 8,000 by 150 feet, 2,438 by 46 meters concrete opened September 18, 2014. In August 2017, there were 102 aircraft based at this airport, 6 single-engine, 17 multi-engine, 68 jet and 11 helicopter. Silver Airways has its headquarters in Suite 201 of the 1100 Lee Wagoner Boulevard building. When Chox International Airlines existed, its headquarters was on the grounds of the airport in an unincorporated area. Topic: Construction. Expansion of 10R 28L runway. In 2003, plans to expand the facility started. Proposed improvements include an extension of runway 10R, 28L, construction and modifications to the airport's taxiway system to provide for increased speed, improved inter-terminal passenger movement and extensive terminal upgrades. The plan was updated a second time on April 25, 2006. Complaints by nearby communities about noise, along with concerns about buyout requirements, delayed construction that is expected to keep Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport viable through 2020. On June 5, 2007, Broward County commissioners voted 6 to 3 in favor of extending the Southern 10R 28L runway. The proposal looks to extend the runway to 8,000 feet in order to accommodate larger aircraft and to allow airplanes to land side by side at the same time. The proposal was approved by the FAA and expansion of the south runway is now complete, with the opening of the runway in September 2014. The crosswind runway was decommissioned on May 6, 2013. All four terminals, now having 57 gates, will have 97 with the completion of a new long-haul International Terminal 4 and Concourse A at Terminal 1. By 2020, feet. Lauderdale Hollywood is projected to handle 36 million passengers annually. 
Demolition and reconstruction of terminal Fordering and after the expansion of runway 10R, 28L, reconstruction of Terminal 4 will begin at the cost of $450 million. The H concourse will be demolished to build the new G concourse. In this process four new gates will be added. Concession space will be increased from 2,128 feet squared to 28,000 feet squared and a secure walkway will be added to connect Terminals 3 and 4. Topic terminals Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport has four terminals. Terminal 1, commonly referred to as the new terminal, opened in stages between 2001 and 2003 and was designed by Helmuth, Obata and Kassebaum and Kartaya Associates. The other three terminals were constructed in 1986 and designed by Reynolds, Smith & Hills as part of a $263 million construction project. Terminal 4, commonly referred to as the International Terminal, was inaugurated by a Concorde visit in 1983. Since 2005, T4 has been undergoing renovations and a major expansion designed by PGAL, Ziskovich Joint Venture. The airport announced that Terminal 1, common known as the New Terminal, underwent $300 million makeover. Construction began in late 2015 and was completed in June 2017. Topic Terminal 1, New Terminal Yellow The Yellow Terminal has three concourses A, B, and C and 23 gates. Concourse A opened on July 5, 2017 and has seven gates A1, A7. Concourse B has seven gates B2, B4, B9, B3 is now A1, and Concourse C has nine gates C1, C9. Concourse A mainly serves international travelers. United Airlines operates a United Club in Concourse C, which opened with the new terminal in May 2001 as a Continental Airlines President's Club. This terminal is only used by Southwest, Alaska, Allegiant, Swoop, Silver, United, Bahamas Air, Copa, and WestJet. Topic: <laughs> Terminal 2, Delta, Terminal Red. The Red Terminal has one concourse D and nine gates. Delta Airlines operates a Sky Club here, one of six clubrooms in the state of Florida. This terminal is only used by Delta and Air Canada. Topic terminal 3, Main Terminal Purple The Purple Terminal has two concourses E and F and 20 gates. In May 2013, a food court opened in Concourse F. It currently consists of a Pei Wei, Einstein Bros Bagels, and a Steak and Shake. This terminal is only used by JetBlue, Azul, Emirates, American, and Norwegian. Topic. Terminal 4, International Terminal Green The Green Terminal has one concourse G and 12 gates G1, G6, G9, G14. Concourse H closed in December 2017 and has since been demolished. Concourse H is currently being reconfigured and designed by the architectural firms of PGAL, Ziskovich Joint Venture. The new three-story facility renamed Concourse G will have 14 new gates, 11 of which are international, domestic capable and one arrivals area for busing operations. New concessions and approximately 50,000 s, f, of administrative offices for the aviation department are being designed on the upper levels of the facility. Western expansion began construction in 2013. Currently, gates G1, G6 on the east end and G9, G14 on the west end are operational and in use. Eastern expansion opened its first phase also in December 2017. An expanded Federal Inspection Services facility will also be included in the new Eastern expansion construction. This terminal is used by Spirit, Frontier, Air Transat, Avianca, British Airways, Caribbean, Emirates, Sunwing, TAME, IBC, and Sky Bahamas. Airlines and destinations Passenger Cargo Statistics
Topic: Top destinations. Topic: Annual traffic. Topic: Airline market share. Topic: GA overcrowding reliever facility. See Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. Topic: Art exhibit. Internationally known artist and sculptor Dwayne Hansen created an installation for his work, Vendor with Walkman, at the departure level of Terminal 3 at the airport. Hamson, who retired and died in nearby Boca Raton, created a seated middle-aged man wearing a red t-shirt, blue pants, baseball cap and listening to a Walkman during a break. The installation accessories give additional clues to the narrative of the artwork, toy airplane, various signs, and announcement for the shop, janitorial supplies. The artwork has since been moved to Terminal 1 arrival level. Topic. Ground transportation Topic. Rail Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport is near the Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood International Airport at Dania Beach train station, served by Amtrak Intercity trains and Tri-Rail commuter trains. The latter provides a shuttle bus service from the station to three locations at the airport, all on the lower level, the west end of Terminal 1, between Terminals 2 and 3, and between Terminals 3 and 4. The shuttles operate seven days a week and are free for tri-rail customers. <laughs> Road The terminals are accessible by U.S. Route 1. Other major roads that border the airport include Florida State Road 818, Interstate 95, and Interstate 595. U.S. Route 1 includes an underpass under runway 10R, 28L. Ride-sharing apps can also be used to and from the airport in designated pickup and drop-off places found between Terminals 1 and 2 and Terminals 3 and 4. The airport also offers airport parking and operates a consolidated rental car facility which can be accessed from Terminal 1 by a short walk and from the other terminals by a free shuttle bus service. FLL is served by Broward County Transit Bus Route 1 which offers connecting service through the Central Terminal in downtown Fort Lauderdale, and also service to Aventura, in Miami-Dade County. Accidents and incidents On May 18, 1972, an Eastern Airlines McDonnell Douglas DC 931 had its landing gear collapse and tail section separate during landing. The aircraft then caught fire but all passengers and crew were able to safely evacuate. On July 7, 1983, Air Florida Flight 8 with 47 people on board was flying from Fort Lauderdale International Airport to Tampa International Airport. One of the passengers handed a note to one of the flight attendants, saying that he had a bomb, and telling them to fly the plane to Havana, Cuba. He revealed a small athletic bag, which he opened, and inside was an apparent explosive device. The airplane was diverted to Havana Jose Marti International Airport, and the hijacker was taken into custody by Cuban authorities. On November 19, 2013, an Air Evac International Learjet 35 crashed shortly after takeoff from the airport, on its way to Cozumel, Mexico, after calling Mayday and during an attempt to return to the airport, possibly due to engine failure, leaving four persons dead. On October 29, 2015, Dynamic Airways Flight 405, a Boeing 767, to 246 ER N251MY was taxiing to a runway to take off for a flight to Caracas, Venezuela, when its left engine caught fire due to a fuel leak. The crew immediately stopped the airplane and fire crews arrived on the scene. All 101 passengers and crew were evacuated the aircraft, and 17 passengers were transported to a hospital. 
All runways were shut down and air operations ceased at the airport for three hours. On October 28, 2016, FedEx Express Flight 910, a McDonnell Douglas MD 1010F cargo aircraft N370FE, arriving from Memphis, Tennessee, caught fire after its left landing gear collapsed upon landing. The fire destroyed its left engine and wing. The three person crew evacuated the aircraft safely. On January 6, 2017, a mass shooting occurred in the baggage claim area of Terminal 2 of the airport. Five people were killed, six others were injured. The shooter was taken into custody without incident and was identified by authorities as Esteban Santiago Ruiz. Santiago acted alone. In May 2018, Santiago pleaded guilty to the killings to avoid the death penalty as part of a plea deal. The specifics of the plea deal call for him to serve five consecutive life sentences followed by 120 years in prison without a right to appeal. Santiago was sentenced to five consecutive life terms plus 120 years in prison on August 17, 2018.